Pamela Geller, the conservative blogger and executive director of the American Freedom Defense Initiative, has upped the ante in New York City by expanding her controversial anti-jihad ad campaign to the city bus system. Geller has been in a battle with the Metropolitan Transit Authority, which operates the city's subways and buses, over her previous ads, and they had tried to ban them, but a judge ruled in her favor, which allowed her ads to go up in 10 subway stops last month. Last week, Mona al Tawi, an Egyptian-American, was arrested for vandalizing what she called the racist ads. In response, the MTA changed their policy, saying they now reserve the right to ban ads that incite or provoke violence, but that decision has been criticized for limiting free speech. Geller's latest ads list several different variants on the original ads, such as support Thailand, defend America, support the cops, and defend freedom. And she's hoping the new ads will be run as soon as possible, but she won't be surprised if she needs to go back to court to ensure they appear in public. These new controversial ads come as a follow-up to anti-Israel ads that were run on New York train stations which showed Palestine territory shrinking since the founding of modern Israel.